Well, what's going on, Cardinal Nation? Well, tough loss tonight. As we lose in this one, 8-5 to five to the Chicago Cubs in the first of three. Um, yeah, 8-5. And we got to see the return of Cardinal Schwitzdott, Paul DeYoung, appearing in his first game in exactly a month. He got injured on May 11th. Um... Missing the last month with a rib fracture that we thought he would only be out for like a week, but it took much more than a week, but he's back. And yeah, so back in the lineup. Um, and so we would take an early one to nothing lead in the top of the second. RBI single by Matt Carpenter. Put us up one to nothing. And then we would have a 3 to nothing lead. Nolan Arenado with an RBI single to put us up 3 nothing, And then uh, we will go up 4 nothing on... Or we have 4 to nothing on an RBI double by Dylan Carlson. Put us up 4 to nothing, And then the Cubs will get on the board and make it 4-1 to one on a solo home run by... Jock Peterson. That was his eighth of the year, the former Dodger, to make it a four to one game and then Aaron Otto would put us up five to one. So three ribbies by Aaron Otto. Uh he's been red hot lately. And that would give us a five to one lead. And Johan Ovaido would have a nice uh, runs to work with, um, and not a bad start by him, uh, five and a third, or rather four and a third actually, did not get through five innings, unfortunately, but still, a solid outing by him, um, as he hasn't gone any more than five innings in any of his starts this season, um, so then the Cubs would make it a, uh, Five to four game as Wilson Contreras would score on a passed ball to make it a five four game, and then the Cubs would tie the game up at five in the bottom of the sixth. Anthony Rizzo with the solo home run in a fourteen pitch battle with Daniel Ponce de Leon, um, as Rizzo would foul off nine straight pitches. And on the 14th pitch, a 2-2 count, he would go deep to tie the game up 5-5 with his 11th home run of the year. Um, and then the Cubs would go up 6-5 on an RBI double by Ian Happ. And then uh, they would go up 8-5 on a two-run homer by Wilson Contreras. So... Very, very disappointing loss after we had a four-run lead. And the Cubs would basically score a seven on answer to get the win, 8-5. So, and for the Cubs on the Wrigley Field, they are now at 100% capacity. Um, as, yeah, this was their first game under playing with a full stadium. I don't know if it was a sellout, but it was close to it at least. So, and I think probably by the end of the season, all stadiums around the country will likely be at full capacity. So, but um, anyway, we'll see what happens in the second game. Cardinals will have John Gant, Gant getting the start against Kyle Hendricks for the Cubs. And I originally thought Hendricks was getting the start in this game. But it wasn't, I guess he got pushed back. So, see what happens. Six o'clock. As the Cubs now are up by a half game over Milwaukee in the NL Central. So anyway, till Saturday, Comics Bears saying go cards.